Welcome friends. In this video, we will learn how to install Aspos.cells using NuGet in Visual Studio and after that, we will create Microsoft Excel documents in various formats for example XLS, XLSX, XLSM, XLSB and lastly we will also save our workbook in PDF format. Let's get started. First open the Microsoft Visual Studio. For the demonstration, we are using Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. But you can use any Visual Studio of your choice. Let's close the start page. We will now create console application project. Please click file, then select new project. Please select Visual C Sharp Console App Project. Please enter the name of the project. Now click OK and it will create console application project. We will now add latest aspos.cells DLL reference using new Git package manager. Right click reference and select manage new git packages. Click browse. Type aspos.cells in search bar. Select aspos.cells from search results. Click drop down to check previous versions of aspos.cells. Click install button. Preview changes and click OK. Please view license and then accept it. Aspos.cells is now successfully installed as shown in the package manager output window. Let's open Solution Explorer and check references. Aspos.cells DLL reference is now present inside references. Double click the packages config file. Aspos.cells package entry can be seen here. We are all set. Let's add some Aspos.cells code that will create Excel workbook. We will add some text inside cell C4. After that, we will save workbook object in different Excel formats. To save time, let's copy and paste the entire code. The code is fully commented and easy to understand. Let's understand the code step by step. As the comment says, this is the directory path where output Excel files created by aspos.cells will be saved. This line of code creates blank aspos.cells workbook object. Since Excel workbook must contain at least one worksheet, so when you create empty workbook, one worksheet is automatically added. In this line of code, we are accessing first worksheet which is added automatically as we previously mentioned. Then it accesses the cell C4 of the first worksheet and adds some text message inside it. These lines are similar and save aspos.cells workbook object in the output directory in different Excel formats. To save to various formats, you only need to specify save format enum value. For example save format enum value Excel 97 to 2003 as shown here will save the workbook in XLS format. Similarly the save format enum value XLSX will save the workbook in XLSX format. Along similar lines, save format enum value XLSM will save the workbook in XLSM format and value XLSB will save the workbook in XLSB format. Please note, aspos.cells also allows you to save workbook in various non-Excel formats, for example, PDF, HTML, TIFF, PNG etc. Please check the last fifth line. Here we are saving the workbook in PDF format using the save format enum value PDF. Let's execute this code from debug menu. 
You can also execute it in many different ways for example by pressing F5 or Ctrl plus F5. However, we will execute it by pressing F10 or selecting the step over command from debug menu. We are done executing the code. Now we will check the output directory where the output files have been created. Let's open output directory. These are the output Excel files in XLS, XLSX, XLSM and XLSB formats including the PDF format. Let's open the first one and view it. Since we have used aspos.cells without setting a license, therefore this evaluation warning sheet appears in output Excel files. If you want to avoid it, you will need to buy a license. You can also request aspos to provide you 30 days temporary license. Please contact aspos sales team or use aspos forums for more information relating to licensing. Let's click sheet 1. As specified in code, Cell C4 contains our welcome message and output Excel format is XLS. Let's close it. Let's open second file which is in XLSX format. It also has same welcome message in cell C4 and its format is XLSX. Let's close it. Let's open third file which is in XLSM format. Once again, it also has same welcome message in cell C4 but its format is XLSM. Let's close it. Let's open fourth file which is in XLSB format. Like before. It also has same welcome message in cell C4 but its format is XLSB. Let's close it. Let's open fifth file which is in PDF format. The output PDF also contains the welcome message. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please do not forget to watch video description because sometime we share important information inside the description for example, sample code, sample files, output files, and links to related articles and various resources. Goodbye.